Between the late 3rd and early 2nd millennium BC, the period which equates to the beginning of the Po Valley Bronze Age, the meeting between local Neolithic and Central European traditions was the basis for the creation of a new indigenous cultural entity that was known as Pallada culture. One of the characteristics of this primarily agro-pastoral population was the preference for damp environments, intermoranic lakes and river courses to build their settlements, often consisting of large pile-dwelling villages. Based on findings of the 20th to 18th century BC, the following procedures and techniques used at the time, fundamental tools, have been reproduced. Bronze axe blades, obtaining specimens with a similar appearance and characteristics to the originals. forests were demolished and the necessary logs were purchased, except one. that they were elements for reinforcing and consolidating of the soil, originally very unstable. The thus obtained frame was then plastered with a mixture of mud and clay to form the wall. and 17th century BC, for a variety of reasons, many of the pile-dwelling villages of the Bande di Cavriana site were abandoned, while new ones arose a short distance away with different structural models. In the place of a specially made hollow foundation to approximately 30 centimeters below the ground level, the first perimeter boards were laid equipped with through holes in which provisional poles with the function of keeping the boards between them were inserted, while the embankment was filled up to the top level. At this point, the provisional poles were extracted to be replaced with long poles made of a thinner lower portion to be fixed deeply into the ground, and an upper part with a larger diameter that rested on the baseboards. Specifically, the final part was thinned, leaving the rest of the trunk intact. Thus, the plinth technique was discovered. <laughs> 